Bavari is about to reach this fight that just started, which is not going to look too great for me. But hopefully it will once Bavaria actually gets to me. Hey, they got here. They got units to me in time. Barely. If your daughter marries my son, we can have an alliance. Is that how that works when it's only a betrothal? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we could do that. Now, yeah, we have an alliance. I will call you to these wars one by one. All right, well, have fun with the journey. I'm going to try not to die in the meantime. <laughs> Once I get the empire and a good source of money, everything's going to change around here. Just you wait. Just need to get a good source of money. <laughs> and an empire. Just to hold things together. The Bavarians got to me though, so that's nice. Oh, and this knight I got at the beginning of the game has gotten maimed. That's not great. Oh, but some guy picked up on the road when I went to that tournament has shown up, so that's fun. All right, I won my battle. Now I could finish this siege I was doing. Yeah, I have two different battles going, two different wars going on at once, and I'm only able to maintain like one front by myself at this moment. And there's like two other fronts right now that I can't do anything about. I'm going through the middle of Italy where there was- uh, Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Men. You have more men than I do. <laughs> You're so much smaller, but you have way more men than I do. The way militaries work in CK is such an enigma compared to something like Imperator, where it's more straightforward. Yeah, it also depends on your mar martial skill and everything. What the hell is happening? Oh my god, I just had twins. Holy shit. Sadly, they're not both boys, so I can't call them Romulus and Remus, because that would be funny. <laughs> It's a boy and a girl, twins. This, this is gonna have a lot of kids, this leader. It's gonna be Constantine and Constantina, because why not? How's Flanders doing? Uh, trying to save up money, but little events keep popping up and taking my fucking money away. It's starting to piss me off. Yeah, yeah, that happens. This place, this war is just a big stinking mess. Takes so long to sail there. Yes, yes it does. I'm winning one of the wars. And I guess that one is, yeah, well, it actually it's split between east and west. I guess they're besie the, the, the other one in the middle that's besieging is part of this war, and then, like, in the middle, in the northeast, is the other war. There's just so more just and more coming. Too. They're hiring mercenaries. So I just had twins as well. It's funny how you just had twins, and all of a sudden, yeah. I have twins. That is funny. Oh, my wife is pregnant so also. Maybe there's also twins. It's the yep. season. I'm gonna have my wife educate my twins. And I'm going to educate my first two kids. All right, the war scores aren't too bad. The one that I'm not able to pay attention to, I only have minus 9% because there's not really a war target, like a war goal. I apparently own the war goal for the other one. I have, I have no idea what that means in relation to this war. It doesn't really spell it out as easily. I guess that just means any of the lands that want to be independent. King Alfred the Great is almost here to save Italy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did so great with Bulgaria. I took over the Byzantines by myself somehow. Yeah, that was nice. That was. Oh, you have a big army down there to deal with. Yeah, that's okay. I I only need to wait until the the negative uh, modifier goes away. Yeah. Well, hopefully it goes away nice and quick. It only takes a month. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. Well, I'm besieging yeah. my next thing. The Bavarians have been invaluable. I hope my daughter does well in. Britain. I guess she's not there yet. She's just betrothed. Well, <laughs> if you can just do a betrothal, which isn't an actual marriage, and get an alliance, why can't you just make a fucking alliance like a normal person? You can if you have a diplomatic uh, thing. Only yes. one. Only one. And that's how I got it with Bavaria. Oh, there goes the Lutheringia. Oh, yep. Yeah, they're dead. Was that the war that started forever ago? Yep. All right, maybe the West Franks will actually come down here. Yep, they're actually coming down here now. Give it some time and the West Franks will be involved. Oh, someone wants to join my war. Well, my court. And Catholic Italian, Nino. That's pretty much what I've been doing this hmm. whole time, is sitting there watching these two go at it. Oh, yeah, I'll get him. From like Pope Nicholas. This guy could be a good knight. 
Yeah, he had like 20, was it? No, he had 10. He had 20 martial, 10 prowess. But yeah, he could become a knight now. And I got him for some prestige, so that's that's great. Are you winning? It looks like you're winning. Well, you have, you're you Alfred the Great. You have martial galore. Yeah, of course you're winning. I don't have a martial leader. I'm not using Alfred in this one. Oh, well, this other guy is really good too, it looks like. Yeah. I have a diplomatic leader. Alfred is everything. Diplomatic, warfare. My caravan master is the one leading my armies right now. <laughs> Maybe I should get someone else. Like, while I'm at war. Um, you know, also maybe not. These are very expensive. The Master of the Horse at least would be neat. And Pompeius can do it. Pompeius is that guy we got at the beginning that night. Let's go ahead and appoint Pompeius to that. It'll cost some money, but it'll increase knight effectiveness. Hey, the West Franks are arriving. A bit late, but better than never. It's good because my own forces are dwindling. <laughs> When I win this independence war, I'm going to imprison everybody that was a part of it. <laughs> yeah, both of these wars are just going to lead to, like, mass imprisonment. So that's going to be interesting. Maybe I could get a lot of money from it, because I don't, I don't think I can just... It's not just going to take everything from them, but if I just ransom them all out, that could pay me a lot of money. Maybe. Oh, one of the dukes fighting against me was excommunicated. What the fuck? Well, that's funny. I see you won your fight down there. Yeah, I'm now coming uh, to the... Oh, yep. That's, yeah, that's the war up there. That's the war that I'm losing. All that stuff. Because I haven't been able to fight it. But, hey, dude, all the Carlings are over here helping me win this other one. So this should be done pretty easily. It's that other one that's the problem. That big northeast corner of my nation, Duchy of Friuli, that's... That's like the origin of that war. And that's the one yeah. from Rift's spy master as well. Oh, what the fuck? I can imprison my vassal. How? What? I don't, I don't even know. Duke Lambert? I guess it's the guy that got excommunicated. I also pardon him, which is funny. But I don't think I can imprison him because I think I'm fighting him anyway. So, right, I need to go get food for my men. And then I can go take the final location. Well, not the final location, but more, I guess. Oh, those guys are coming over here. They just, like, ran away from you. Future they region. They can run, but they can't hide. It's teaching me about regents. No, I think I figured that out already. Spouse aids me in diplomatic studies. Gets a fuck ton of XP and focus students. Well, goddamn. It happened despite my spouse's terrible learning skill. Which is zero, by the way. Good luck in your battle. It looks pretty... Nah, I'm running back. Yeah. Woo! Oh god, the wounds. They have more knights, but you have more everything else. Yeah, my military's not even really built up. Like, I don't have... Mine hasn't built either. I started with this. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Mine shrunk even more. Yeah, I have, I since have some Huskarls. Everyone rebelled. Oh, I don't have Huskarls. That sounds nice, though. Title creation cost reduction. That would be so useful. Holy shit. I got a perk to reduce the cost of creating titles. So now instead of 700 gold, I need 500. Which I'm near. I'm just losing money every month this war goes on. It's not actually that bad. I'm just trying to get some food back. Which I could tell that my Carling allies just go on the offensive and stop following me around. Alright, well I'm not losing that other war as badly anymore, which is nice. I'm getting food back pretty quickly. There's a grand tournament happening. Um, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. But I was invited. Yeah. That's that's so funny. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass at that. I'm not so sure. So, unfortunately, yeah, sorry, Venice. On the bright side, I'm probably gonna take you over at some point. Because you have a lot of money, and you might be what I need to kind of figure things out. Oh, the Pope died. Now we have a new Pope. Hey, the Carlings actually went and started their own siege, finally. Some of them. The West Franks, anyway. I see Duke Dorf has four children. Yep. I see Duke Dorf is also in the Netherlands. Going on a hunt. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant again. Yeah, I'm having tons of kids as well. Oh yeah, my wife's pregnant again, too. Oh. That's, that's fun. So welcome to Italy. Um, as you see, it's a little chaotic here. Anglo-Nordic. Yeah, they always do that. Those damn Anglo-Nords. Hey, I'm winning both wars now. Yay. Yay. Oh my god, the Carlings are over there beating up a bunch of the enemies. Well, they're figuring out some useful things to do, I see. 
They're just very cautious about starting to do useful things. Yeah, I'll ask me how the AI works. The Gongs lost that fight. What? They did? It looked like they were outnumbering them yeah. so much. I guess the numbers displayed wrong. I saw like they were fighting a few hundred dudes with thousands of dudes. Yeah, I, saw, I, I saw that too. I saw that too. It's strange. I guess that's a bug. Maybe the Carlings should try getting good. All right. Now the war scores are getting a little bit better there. 26% on that other one. And I just see uh, one that's closer to being one. They just raised like another 2,000 troops or something. Yeah, I'm going after them. All the way in the northwest. I was thinking of just bringing the Franks over there. Do you want to go after them? No, I go after them. You could be see because... I don't have siege equipment. I don't have siege equipment either. <laughs> the Carlings might, I don't know. No, but I think the Franks have it. Maybe. Alright, I'll go after the next county of theirs. One more county and they should surrender. I'm capped out for war score uh, battles against them, though. I'm constantly getting a score for that independence war for holding the war target, which I just mean, I think just means territory in general. Oh, I've had another, another child, another son. I'm naming this one Remus. He's a third son. He has no chance. There's going to be some fun succession after this, let me tell you. Somehow I got into a fight. I wasn't even looking. I got into a battle. Huh. And I won it. They're definitely going to win that siege in the northwest in due time. Oh, hey, the Franks are running around in the east. Some of them decided that I didn't need babysitting. My army is so tiny. I'm just burning through money. I've burned through like at least 200 so far. I made my wife my soulmate. That's not going to make this succession even stranger. But damn, dude, if I'm not expanding the Romulus dynasty. We're about to win this independence war. So close. I once again see the Franks fighting and I see like 4,000 Franks fighting almost no enemies. Okay, it was actually correct this time. And it looks like we won the independence war. Okay. The independence war is done. Everyone involved in it was imprisoned. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy shit, man. They're in my prison. And yet... Some of them still are just like, You wanna fight? You wanna fight? I'm gonna start a new rebellion from prison. What the fuck? Meanwhile, it also says that they cannot join factions, so that just must be some weird display bug or something. I have no idea. Well, the borders look a lot better now, don't they? Yeah. Now look at this wave of carlings just rushing towards these poor remaining guys. These are the guys that are here because of Rift's spy master. Yeah, if I could kill him, I would. I wonder what would have happened if you fired him. Would he ha would still have had the power to do this? Yes, because his brothers, all those uh, dukes that rebelled against you, those are his brothers. Oh, God. Like, all of them have claims, or at least he does, and all those titles. What a treacherous family. The slaughter of Nice. Now, we slaughtered some enemies, apparently. Those Carlings do have onagers. I should probably get some onagers, even if I don't have anything else. Money's just tough right now, until I can get Venice or something. Oh, it's that time again. I can ask the Head of Faith for gold. Sure. Why not? I need money right now more than I need piety. I'm only 25, so my chances to invade Rome later are still a possibility. And I can always do those- I know there's an activity that can grant you piety, too. Your daughter is sick. My daughter is sick? You didn't tell me. This is not a whole lot I can do other than have someone in charge of the physician stuff. It's okay, her health is still good because we have a good court physician and we have exotic food. Hmm, I thought you were gonna run. What? I caught him while they were season. Oh, are you in a war? Yeah, hey, I'm down here with you guys. You're my little 750 troops. Oh, I see you. <laughs> okay, I had no idea you were down here, yeah. Oh, and I've had another child, a daughter. Wow. Damn, dude. My dynasty's growing quick. Wonder if we'll become the Carlings. <laughs> Damn, a really good, like, knight.
person has showed up. Well, sort of. It's actually just this fat guy, but he has a lot of capability as a fighter. I wonder if I should pay for him. It's 40. He's better than anybody else I have, I guess. So, sure, why not? And I can hold court. 100 prestige? Sure, I have prestige. First in line, what do we have here? Generously accept or not. Cisalpine culture will gain opinion of me. I mean, that's that seems pretty good, yeah. Sure. That'd be handy. And then a guest. Let's see. Travel to somewhere. Fascinating tidbits about someone's subjects. Can share these. Pay him. And I get secrets. Or learn that he doesn't have secrets. Or I get grandeur by telling him to go away. Or I can size him, which I assume is supposed to be seize him. I'm just gonna tell him to leave. I don't want anything to do with that. A mighty hero among the peasantry. Ooh. Oh, this is a good chance to get a really good commander actually holy shit 55 gold to get him but he is a really good knight so yeah yeah let's uh let's get him now he has a lot of opinion of me and i just spent a lot of yeah, money if i want i can already uh, make a new fate <laughs> apparently there was more to that business here is done okay now now it's done and we have this siege going on it's about to be done and there you go that's done 95. We got 95%. We're chugging along here. I can make him my bodyguard, given that he's so... Oh, I know this guy. Given that he's so... Oh, it's a fearless lackey, too? That's hysterical. This is the perfect guy to be a bodyguard, I feel like. Um, what is this? Well, first, let me assign him. I'm gonna make him the bodyguard. Powerful agent, hostile schemes against me, but he's just a courtier, and he loves me. So, yeah, I'm gonna assign him. He's like the perfect guy for this. Available Dynasty Legacy. That's cool. I have too many sons to be disinheriting. I'm gonna befriend you, Russ. Oh, okay. Sure, that sounds great. I need to do some kind of scheme as well, honestly. I, I finished one. And I never got yeah, a new one. I get little bonuses on that, but I have friends, so... Let me get the first blood congenital trait. Let me do something. Jeff, you're gonna be my next friend. Everybody that's on oh, my boy. council loves me. But there's no one to sway <laughs> in that regard. Maybe the Pope, if anyone? I don't know. I guess look at my top vassals here. Vassal and Commander. I think this guy's fighting against me, though. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just fighting against me. I don't really see that I need to do any schemes at the moment. There's no one scheming against me. The only thing might be, like, the Pope. Getting the Pope happier could be decent, I suppose. All right, we won. Hey, you won. We did it. Yay. Holy shit. What, we I did it. Nothing? What? I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, this... I hardly got anything. It's just that everyone got disbanded or, or imprisoned, and they are unallowed to join any more plots from, like, both of these. They didn't... And I got a bunch of dread for imprisoning them. And that's about it. But thanks for the help. Italy can live to see another day. No Hooray. Italy is now plotless for a little bit. I'm going to go around and I'm just going to ransom out a lot of the individuals that took part in that. Because, well, once they have the money to give me anyway, because then I can recover so my, my money is, at my empire. mentored by somebody in France and somehow managed to pick up high German in another language. Interesting. Now I'm being called to war by West Francia. <laughs> it's like two counties or something. What kind of fucking war is this? Oh, it's right next to you. Uh, Flanders. Wait, what's going on? There's a war next to you. It's just, it's a big rebellion against your liege. I got called into it. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Loth Lothair, who just lost the kingdom of Lotharingia, is... That's what that war is, to try and put him back on the throne. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think he's gonna see massive luck with that. Europe's just a mess of wars right now. Alright, I can go ahead. I have exactly the amount of money I need to create the Empire of Italia. Let's do it. 500 prestige. I am now a mighty imperator. That's awesome. I suppose. Oh, well, now I can do a forced vassalization of 
my neighbor in Venice, although it would just be a vassalization. It's not like I would get the territory. I want the territory for myself. I don't want to vassalize it. I could probably do the same thing with the fucking Pope, I bet. How do I have just claims on all of this? I have no idea. I only had it on one earlier. Now I have all three, but no ability to attack whatsoever. Hey, I'm officially the culture head of the Roman culture. That took forever. I finally have a Roman location on the map. I am officially the culture head of Rome, baby. Nice. Yeah. Why is King Alfred ap approaching me? What? <laughs> he wants to be friends. Okay, yeah, that helps me get rid of stress, sure. Why not? Yay, Civil War. Oh, if I make an accolade, I'm the one that benefits from it? What the fuck? Not the knight? That's so Are weird. You an yeah, I made it. I'll go ahead and make a something for good old Pompeius. He's been with me forever. I guess that would give me some sort of bonus. I can have three accolades. What determines who can get an accolade? I have no idea. But this guy has an accolade. He's been with me forever. I don't know why everybody can't get an accolade, but... Disciplinarian, levy reinforcement rate, army damage, reeve, which is vassal opinion. I can make an accolade that just straight up says the death of Muslims. It's That's just auto-generated. <laughs> My daughter gave me money. Wow. Oh, nice. All right, I've made the death of Muslims, so that's fun. I haven't been using these accolades the whole time. I just had no idea what they did. Hey, we're friends. Yay. Yay. I convinced my son to be more like me. What did you just get from the Pope? Oh, it's a uh, sacred lineage. Line I couldn't read it up. Yeah, I, I didn't hear what either one of you said. <laughs> uh, my bloodline became a sacred one. Oh. How does that work? Uh, that I have, uh... The religious icon of uh, devotion. I have to spend 2500 uh, piety. And I think I have. Uh, I can't have any bad trick, you know, sense. It doesn't do much, though. Highly religious uh, vassals like me more, and my children. It helps you get more money from the religious vassals. And the religious vassals, the actual, like, church type ones. Those ones make the most money when you have this kind of religion. Oh, hey, that war ended. Yay, I didn't even do anything. Okay, I can get a war over Veneto there pretty easily. I just spent the money required to actually do it. We want to raise somewhere around here. I guess with the most optimal supply limit. Well, also on this side of the river. And so that would be roughly right about there would be a good spot. It's so laggy right now. When I do this stuff. And what is the size of my military anyway? It's not that great. I know that. If you were to raise all. It's. Well I could see it like this. 2,402 versus 1,545. Plus the fact that I could call in allies. Yeah. I want to get Venice bit by bit. Because it would give me more power. It would give me more money. Especially once I take the actual capital. But this has to go one at a time. So. Let's start a war over the grand city of Benito. We will raise all armies where we can raise them. And we should be able to call allies to war. So Bavaria. Oh, but that's going to cost a lot of prestige. Mm. I'll call Bavaria. Bavaria should be enough. I don't think they're at any wars either. Yeah, so Bavaria should be enough. King Carlman, come to my aid. And together we shall... I shall send my bodyguard off to war, and we shall do this. It'll take two wars to get the whole thing, but once I have this, if I move my capital there, I'll be on a really good spot for income. Otherwise, I need prestige to wage any wars over the papacy. Don't know if or when I will actually get that. I really should get some onagers, because these sieges are not going to be the f most fun in the world. That is a lot of money, and I'm already spending a lot of money. But hey, look, the Bavarians are already here. Oh, and look, that's a lot of enemies. Way more enemies than were advertised, so we'll see how this goes. The siege is progressing, though, even without equipment, so it's not that bad. I just need to take this, basically, to win. Maybe I have to do a little bit more. I don't know. So my son beat the shit out of the Countess Sibyl of Strasbourg. <laughs> She's got a black eye and a scar across her face.
Sounds like your family's pretty rowdy. And uh, they're not kind of, well, actually, well, some of them are coming out looking a little bit like your character. They're definitely influenced by the dad, but they're also influenced by the mom. So it's only half squished faces, but this is going to run in your family for a while. I bet. I hope so. While I'm at it, I can also probably get a claim on the next part. It's going to cost some money at the end of the day, but. Should it be too bad? I'm not planning on dying anytime soon. I'm only 28. I can get a claim on the actual location that I end up wanting. It's going to be the last thing. Deal taxes reduced, you get a county. Approaches me, negotiate, renegotiate my contract. Um, no. No, sir. That's not happening. No, just keep liking me. I think I'm swaying him actively. So that's why he likes me as much as he does to begin with. I see Wessex is getting bigger. Yeah, after this war, I have mercy out. And then I can create England there, I think. Nice. I'm finally on my first offensive war, and it's to take a single county of the two counties of Venice, because I can only really do that one at a time if I want to own them. And I do want to own Venezia, because it's such a profitable location with the palace there. It just makes so much money. Well, the previous pope almost granted me all the... All, all of Britannia, so... God damn. I'm just kind of fighting for dear life to keep what I started with together. And I'm trying to get some money to be able to continue to do that, really. And Venezia is my best chance to get money. And then when I have money, I could start going on a bunch of pilgrimages, ideally, to get a bunch of piety so I can actually declare war on the papacy before I die and lose my claims on it. Which somehow, you know, I had one claim, but I have, I have claims on the whole fucking thing now, every single county for some reason. I still have to do three separate wars, though. Because now that you created the Empire title for Italy, you have claim on everything in the de jure. The de jure uh, ones don't work on the papacy, though. I tried that on... This was... I had those before I got the Empire, by the way. Um, the de jure ones that you're thinking of, those do not work on the papacy. I tried it in the PvPvE, uh, and it does not work as advertised. It's just for the papacy, though. Also, you need to research the ability to use those to begin with for your culture. And my culture currently does not have that ability. Adaptive traditions. Learn language. Foreign affairs. Sure. This dude just declare war, man. Like, where the fuck is this guy? Prince Louis the Young. Can you take him or? Uh, I might be able to. It says he only got 623 troops. I have almost 900. Well, I won the siege for my target. Now I'm just going to go beat up the enemies over here. The Bavarians are rapidly following me into battle it counts as a defense for me so that's nice although we still have to run in first oh, wait a minute. Something, something must have happened because i have land down here oh yeah flanders extends down south right where that war is <laughs> that's that's fun what the fuck is going on oh. you've grown while you weren't looking i think somebody died and he inherited those titles that's what he's sieging down right now. We all arrived at the same time. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but it, it happened. Marcy. Oh, my bodyguard got maimed. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, my God. One of my most troublesome counts was fighting on the front line as a knight, and he just fucking died. And he had no heirs, yeah, so I just got his county. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just got Genoa. That's mine now. That's a good place. It has the walls of Genoa. Provides really good loot, actually. That's that's really nice. Well, I'm happy he died on the front line, I guess. I also got his men at arms. Yeah, oh my pretty... god, what the fuck? I suddenly I have two more men at arms than I had a moment ago. And they're not small either. They're like level three. That's so they're upgraded. Okay, well, I have way more men at arms. My income has actually increased, though, from all of this, which is funny. Wow, that's a development. These are all men-at-arms that I would eventually have wanted as well. So that was just a really nice thing to get, very unexpectedly, in fact. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah.